is Rebecca with LectinFree.me. Today we're going to talk about lectin-free lunches. I always bring salads for lunch and I had one of my co-workers say yesterday, you know, I'd really love to bring salads for lunch, but it's so hard. And I was thinking to myself, I don't think it's that hard. I just have a few things in my fridge and I throw them together. So I didn't know if making salad was hard for you and maybe I could give you a few tips and tricks to kind of make it a little bit easier. So this is what I keep in my fridge and this is how I make my salads. The best romaine we have here is not actually organic, it's one I get at Walmart in a little tub and the leaves are loose and it's like supposed to be fresh cut. It's the, the freshest best romaine I could find locally. Why not? Well, not organic. It's the best that I can find. So you need to find the best that you can find in your location. So I keep a container of that. And I keep a bag of broccoli slaw or coleslaw. These are basically just chopped up vegetables in a bag that you can just, you know, dump and mix in with your salad. And I keep a bag of mixed greens. And this is usually uh, baby charred baby spinach and baby kale that's my favorite mix and I keep some baby rainbow carrots which I can find locally now so ideally a salad's gonna be about six ounces so I add about two ounces of chopped up romaine two ounces of mixed baby greens I chopped those up too because I just like them smaller and two ounces of broccoli saw or coleslaw mix and if I don't add the broccoli saw the coleslaw mix I'll add some chopped up baby rainbow carrots so that's the base of my salad then I add three ounces of protein if I'm in a hurry I'm grabbing something to go I'll grab a can of um, tuna with olive oil out of the pantry you can grab a handful of whatever your favorite nut is and some avocado salad dressing and that's it that's my salad and it's really simple and easy I forgot I usually cut up a really small apple that's like two ounces and I'll chop that up and put that in my salad okay so that's my salad <laughs> that's really easy <laughs> yeah so I get a little bit of sweet with my salad with the apple and that just kind of seems to satisfy my sweet tooth for lunch. I don't want anything afterwards. I don't want to go eat a piece of cake or what have you afterwards. So that, that works for me. So anyway, that's how I throw my salads together. And I'll throw them together at night, except for the apple. I cut that up right before I eat it because it kind of turns brown. But anyway, so I'll throw that together at night in a bag and you just leave it in the fridge and then grab everything to go um, to take to lunch with me the next day. And um, if you don't have like the canned good tuna and olive oil, you can use three ounces of whatever meat you had for dinner the night before. We'll have, you know, ground turkey is really good or chicken breast or steak. You can put any of these meats because the base of the salad is just neutral. And depending on, you know, the fruit and the nut and the salad dressing, that's what makes your salad. The rest of it is just the foundation, the base and the the good green stuff that you need to eat. So I hope this has helped you and if it has click the like button and hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. So I just want to thank you for watching and good luck on your lectin free journey.